Vice Presidential Bet Walden Bellio on Sunday, March 20, confronts the Comelec over weak penalties against the bait skippers. Ferdinand Marcus Jr. and his running mate, Sara Duterte, skipped the first Comelec presidential and vice presidential debate. We need stronger penalties for these people, no? Because this is so undemocratic that they're not here. I'm tempted to walk out right now, you know, because precisely we're making fools of ourselves without this person who's just clapping up there. Comelec Chairman Saidamen Pangarungan says the poll body will discuss Bellio's concern in an on-bank session. Sir, but legally speaking, you think pwede naman via reso, hindi pwedeng via election poll? Uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, yung, you mean resolution? Yes po. Yeah, we can do that. But Comelec Commissioner George Garcia explains there should be a law passed by the Congress before the Comelec can impose punishments on candidates. Meantime, the vice presidential hopefuls also talk about the undefined role of the vice president and tandem voting. Senators Tito Soto and Kiko Pangilinan both point out, while the Constitution leaves the role of the vice president undefined, it's up to the incumbent to make the most of the office. Willie Ong and Walden Bellio, meanwhile, both bring up the idea of taking up cabinet positions. Soto, Pangilinan, Serapio, and Bellio also say that 200 peso monthly aid from the government is not enough amid high fuel prices. This after President Rodrigo Duterte approved a subsidy worth 200 pesos per month for a year for an estimated 12 million poor households. Mm -hmm.